Warning. This is one of those warped and creepy stories where life is at stake and yet you can't figure out who's your friend and who's your enemy. It's chilling, but it's a true story. The main character is, okay, it's the top of a carrot. It's the part that people usually throw away. But check this carrot out. I can't even read the expression on its face. I mean, is it friendly? Is it menacing? I don't know. What I do know is this carrot is an outlaw. Why? Well, for one, according to the law, carrots are putrescible, which is a terrible sounding word that means something like basically they rot. And thankfully, public health and waste management laws protect us from putrescibles by helping send all of them to landfills. Oh, but funny story. Then we found out that if a carrot goes to the landfill, it'll rot without oxygen and produce methane, which is like the super villain of greenhouse gases. So state legislators are like, ah, we have to get all the organic matter out of landfills now and compost it. And when I first heard this, I thought, yay, compost is good. It builds soil. And carrot tops, like all organic matter, they may be putrescible, but they're also life and the source of new life in our soil. Plus, I live in Oakland, and I know lots of people are producing rich and healthy soil through composting. Isn't this great? Feel free to pause and take all this in for a minute before I ruin your day. Because here's where the story turns really dark. Pretty much all of this is illegal. Everything on that list, yep. Oakland law says, no one is allowed to collect or move organic matter, aka life and the source of life, unless they are the one chosen big corporate waste hauler. This is so sad, it's almost hilarious, but mostly also it's really scary. It sweeps aside the possibility for rich, carefully stewarded and diverse composting methods. It takes away communities' ability to make their own good, healthy soil at a time when the future of life on this planet genuinely depends on rebuilding healthy soils. But the story gets even worse. Now, with state laws mandating that we compost everything, the risk is that cities everywhere will feel pressured to do what Oakland did and sweep aside small-scale compost solutions and implement large-scale monoculture compost systems where this carrot will go into a big container, get collected by a big truck, then taken to a big compost facility, and then end up in a big bag of stuff that will eventually be spread on crops, rangelands, and gardens. But stuff is the polite word for it. Farmers and gardeners who have used this compost have told me that it's lifeless and like sawdust, or that it's contaminated with little bits of plastic or construction debris, or it just plain killed the garden. That's because it's very hard to control the quality of compost when you do it at a large scale. In other words, in our efforts to protect public health and reduce greenhouse gases, our laws now force us to take something that is alive and that gives life to our soil and turn it into something that is dead and deadly. I'm telling you, this is the stuff of the Twilight Zone. But it's not too late to change things because the time to shape these laws is right now. Cities, states, counties are about to dump tons of new compost-related laws on us, and we don't have to passively receive them. We have an opportunity to weigh in and shape them. So here's what people like you in every city and town in the U.S. need to do. And guess what? It's actually fun! So you organize regular dinner parties to learn about, discuss, and help shape your local and state compost laws and policies. The Sustainable Economies Law Center has been doing this every month for nine months, and it's my favorite thing! We've had 25 local farmers, composters, and concerned community members attend what we call the Soil Policy Party, and each time... We socialize, make compost jokes, we laugh, make new friends, and then we study some aspect of state, county, or city law related to compost, and we do something to take action, like reach out to our local policymakers and tell them how important it is to protect small-scale composting. So stay tuned. Sustainable Economies Law Center will soon be sharing resources to help you organize your dinner parties and to support you to take action in your local community. In the meantime, please share this scary story so that we can raise awareness of what's at stake. Thank you.